Welcome to Radio Career Channel. I am pleased to like and subscribe to our channel for your Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, ang aking i-care ngayon ay about sa baby and child care. Ayan, the, ayan by doctor, it's his folks. Ayan, Benjamin is folks, MD, and Michael R. Rudenberg, medical doctor. Ayan, tayo ngayon ay... Magkakaroon ng, ayan, ng topic, ayan, tungkol sa ating the parents part. Ayan, ano ba ang mga parents part na ito? Ayan, ayan, trust yourself. Ayan, being as a, as a mother and a father, we have, um, we need. You have a trust. Ayan, trust yourself. Ayan. You know, more than you think you do. Soon, soon you're going to have a baby. Ayan. Lalo na sa mga newlywed. Ayan. Para sa inyo ang topic na ito. And sa may mga anak na, of course. And maybe you have one already. You are happy and whether you are going to know how to do a job good. Lately, you have been listening more carefully to your friends and relatives when they talk about bringing up a child. You began to read articles by experts in the magazines and newspapers. After the baby is born, the doctors and nurses will begin to give you instructions too. Sometimes it sounds like a very complicated business. You find all out all the vitamins a baby needs. And all the immunizations, ayan, very important, the immunizations to our babies, ayan, after birth, ayan, for their protection and to have um, prevention in any illness or diseases, ayan, that's the very important while the baby is growing up. One mother tells you that egg should be given early because of its iron and another says that egg should be delayed to avoid allergy. You hear that a baby is easily spoiled by being picked up too much but also that a baby must be coddled plenty that fairy tales make children nervous. And that fairy tales are a wholesome outlet. Don't take too seriously all that the neighbors say. Don't be overawed by what the experts say. Don't be afraid, afraid to trust your own common sense. Bringing up your child won't be a complicated job if you take it easy. Trust your own instincts and follow the directions that your doctors given gives to you. We know for a fact that the natural loving care that kindly parents give their children is a hundred times more valuable than their knowing how to pin a diaper on just right or how to make a formula expertly every time you pick your baby up let's assume it's a girl even if you do it a little awkwardly at first every time you change hair bath hair feed hair 
smile out there she's getting a feeling that she belongs to you and that you belong to her to her nobody else in the world no matter how skillful can give that to her it may surprise to you to hear that the more people have studied different methods of bringing up children, the more they have come to the conclusion that what good mothers and fathers instinctively feel like doing for their babies is usual best. After all, furthermore, all parents do their best job when they have a natural easy confidence in themselves better to make a few mistakes from being natural than to do everything letter perfect out of a feeling of worry prenatal classes for expectant mothers and fathers are provided in many communities by the visiting nurse our situation the Red Cross or the city or country health department. They are very helpful in discussing the questions and problems that all expectant parents have concerning pregnancy, delivery, and care of the baby. In section 106, I talk about alternative birthing methods and how to find more about them. And number one, that's the, you know more than you think you do. Ayan, the, trust yourself. And number two, how you learn to be a parent. Ayan, Ma fathers and mothers don't really find out how to care for the managed children from books and lectures. Though this may have value in answering specific questions and doubts, they learn the basics from the way they themselves were handled while they were children. That's what they were always practicing when they played house and cared for their dolls. You'll find that to learn the rest grew gradually through the experience of caring for your children. It's taking care of your baby, finding out that you can feed, change, bath, and burp successfully, and that your baby responds contentedly to your ministrations that needs use the feeling of familiarity confidence and love a solid relationship and a mutual trust are established every early then when your baby let's say a girl begins to feel like a separate person with ideas and i will of her own at about a year you and she will have a solid basis for copying with such common problems as excessive explorativeness or negative narcissism or all parents expect to influence their children but many are surprised to find that it's a two-way street and that they learn and gain from their parenting and their children in other words, parenting is an enormously influential developmental step for adults and their own lives. And number three, it's regarding the trust yourself. I am the parents part. I am we have number three. Uh, we recall number one is you don't you know more than you think you do and number two how you learn to be a parent and of course number three 
don't be afraid of your baby. Should think from what some people, including some doctors, say about babies demanding attention and that they come into the world determined to get their parents under their thumbs by hook or by crook. They isn't true. Your baby is born to be a reasonable, friendly human being. Don't be afraid to feed her when you think she is really hungry. If you are mistaken, she'll merely refuse to take much. Don't be afraid to love her and enjoy her. Every baby needs to be smiled at talk. Two, played with, fondled, gently, and lovingly. Be smiled at talk to, played with just as much as she needs vitamins and calories that's what will make her a person who loves people and enjoys life the baby who doesn't get any loving will grow up cold and as unresponsive don't be afraid to respond to other desires or fears as long as they seem sensible to you as long as you don't become a slave to her. When she cries in the early weeks, it's because she's uncomfortable for some reason or other. Maybe it's hunger or indigestion or fatigue or tension. The uneasy feeling you have when you hear her cry, the feeling that you want to comfort her is meant to be a part of your nature too. Being held, rock or walk may be what she needs. Spoiling doesn't come from being a good to a baby in a sensible way. And it doesn't come all of a sudden. Spoiling comes on gradually when parents are too afraid to use their common sense or when they really want to be slaves and encourage their babies to become slave drivers. Everyone wants the child to turn out to be healthy and her habits and easy to live with. But each child herself wants to eat at sensible hours and later to learn good table manners, their bowels, as long as the movements that don't become too hard, will move accordingly to their own healthy pattern, which may or may not be regular. And when she's a lot of older and wiser, you can show her where to sit to move them. She will develop her own pattern of sleep according to her own needs. In all this habit, she will sooner or later want to fit into the family ways of doing things with only a minimum of guidance from you. And the verse number four, enjoy children as they are that's how they'll grow up best and this is the continuation of the trust yourself i will repeat you know number one you know more than you think you do and number two how you learn to be a parent and number three don't be afraid of your baby and number four enjoy children as they are that's how they'll grow up best Everybody, every baby's face is, is different from every other's. In the same way, every baby's pattern of development is different. One may be very advanced in her general bodily strength and coordination, an early speaker, a standard walker, a sort of infant athlete, and yet she may be slow in doing careful, skillful things with her fingers or in talking. Even babies who are athletes 
in rolling over, standing, and sitting may turn out to be slow to be learned to walk. Babies who are advanced in their physical activities may be very slow in eating and vice versa. Children who turn are later to be smart in schoolwork may have been so slow in beginning to talk that their parents were afraid for a while and that they will die. And children who have just an ordinary amount of intelligence are sometimes very early talkers. I am proposedly picking out samples of children with mixed rates of development to give you an idea of what a jumble of different qualities and parents of growth each individual person is composed. One baby is born to be big bone and square and chunky, while another will always be small bone and delicate. Some individuals really seem to be born to be fat if they lose weight during an illness, they gain it back promptly afterward. The troubles that they have in the other ne world never take away their appetites. The opposite kind of individuals stay on the thin side, even when they have the most nourishing food to eat, even though life is running smoothly for them. Love and enjoy your children for what they are, for what they look like, for what they do, and forget about the qualities that they don't have. I don't give you this advice just for sentimental reasons. There's a very important practical point here. The children who are appreciated for what they are, even if they are homely or clumsy or slow, will grow up with confidence and themselves happy. They will have a spirit that will make the best of all the capacities that they have and of all the opportunities that come their way. They will make light of any handicaps, but the children who have never been quite accepted by their parents who have always felt that they were not quite right will go up lacking confidence they'll never be able to make full use of what brains what skills what physical attractiveness they have if they started life with handicap physical or mental it will be multiple simple by the time they are grown up all right that's the four that's the four the parents part ayan and regarding with our doctor spoke baby and child care ayan the parents part number one i will repeat you know more than you think that two number two how you learn to be a parent number three don't be afraid of your baby and number four enjoy your children as they are that's how they'll grow up best ayan that's the that's number four and we have so many topics to be to be learned ayan next topic natin is baby's parent trial tomorrow i will discuss this again to you i will come back and bye bye and thank you for listening and of course hopefully this this video will helpful to all of you especially to the the genuine web that will having a baby soon. Ayan, this is very important with us as a parents. Ayan, thank you so much and bye bye. Let's enjoy the music, wings, favorite songs, and horoscope through our sponsors Lean and Green, Slimming and Beauty, Natural Healthy Products. Oh, yeah!
Jobs Jotan. The Gogo Weed, your DJ Sandem. DJ Moon from Milan, Italy. And DJ Light from Amman, Jordan. Air only here at number one and hottest radio station. Moonlight 82.7 FM. The new generation online radio. The best. Enjoy to the max. Happy listening, everyone.